So I think we'd like to talk about where the free ports are going to be. Can we have the next slide, please? So this map shows us the locations of the eight free ports that have been announced for England. There are going to be 10 in total, but we're still waiting to hear from the devolved governments in Scotland and Wales where the last two will be. Stephen, so far as the English ports are concerned, the government has made a lot of the role it sees for free ports in its levelling up agenda. Do you see that as the key policy driver here? Um, uh, levelling up was certainly how free ports were positioned when, when they were initially launched by government. Um, I think when the competition was, was underway, I, I think there was probably an assumption that slightly more of them would be would would be further north, where where the need for for leveling up is 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 perhaps greater. Um, I think the surprise when the eight free ports were announced was the the, the fact that uh, government seemed to have gone down a route of making sure there was there was one in each region as opposed to maybe targeting the areas of of, of maximum deprivation. I, I know we've got the slide here and we've got some of the some of the failed bids uh, on on this uh, slide. I think I think there was some surprise in many circles that that you know say, say for example the the bid centred around Bristol or, or or the bid centred around Newcastle. Uh, weren't, weren't successful um, when you look at criteria around levelling up. So, yeah, I think levelling up is a, is a key part of what government's wanting to do, but equally it seems to be doing that on a regional basis. Mm -hmm.